Yes, what are you doing here? Well, I, um, I wrapped things up quicker than I expected, so I came back a few days early. Is it terribly inconvenient of me? Oh, no, darling, don't be silly. Um... How was Washington? That was New York. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Um, did you see Mary? How is she? Mary is fine. And uh, what about you, Wallace? Oh, um, I'm getting a bit ragged, actually. He really has so much on his plate right now. <laughs> Another gift. Well, the insurance must be getting steep. So, um... So, where was it tonight? Oh, uh, dinner with the Churchills and the German ambassador, followed by a piano recital, some would say an overly long one. <laughs> what is it? Are you in love with him? <laughs> what? <laughs> what kind of a question is that? It's a straightforward one. Well, it's a bit late in the day to be concerned about my feelings, isn't it, Ernest? Isn't that something you should have been worried about when you were oh so delighted about your wife being flavor of the month? I see. No, no, look, I'm... I'm sorry. I, I, I really am. I'm... I'm tired. You've been very patient, but things will soon be back to normal. We'll be back tomorrow, I promise. Listen, I'm going to Paris next week shopping. Why don't you come out and join me? We could have a few days together, just the two of us. Well, it's been ages since we've talked together properly. I, I miss you. <sighs> Now, who can that be at this time of night? That will be all for tonight. Thank you. Come. Ernest. Good to see you, old chap. Your Majesty. So, drink? No, no, thank you, sir. Please, please. Well, Ernest, this is, uh, this is grand. What, uh, what news from Paris? Well, I imagine you would know better than me, sir. What is it you're after, Simpson? Sir, with the greatest respect, I simply wish to discover exactly what your intentions are towards my wife. going well. Oh, yeah. I seem to be getting all sorts of discounts on the most attentive service. It makes a change. Don't mind. We must do Cafe au lait. Now, my dear, I have found the most wonderful restaurant for lunch. Wallace. What? We need to talk. No? Well, it's never going to be the right moment, is it? We have to face up to things. The king is in love with you. This is my ultimatum. 
Then there's no question I'm staying with you. It's not an ultimatum, Wallace. It's just, uh... I think we should get a divorce. Ernest. I... <laughs> I, I thought we had an understanding. Now, if you want me to stop seeing him... Do I don't. Like... I don't. I'm not saying that. What, what are you saying? Wallace, he wants to marry you. Oh, he lives in a dream world. He can no more marry me than fly to the moon. You know he that. He is utterly determined, I swear to you. As a guarantee of his intentions, this morning he deposited into your private account a hundred and fifty thousand pounds. You sold me. No. No. The money is yours. It is not mine. It's just so that whatever happens after the divorce, you will be comfortably off. Well, you... I am giving it back every damn penny of it. I can't be bought or sold. I don't want a divorce. What you and I have is real solid. Our partnership. Ernest, what is the matter with you? Not just because he's the king, it doesn't mean you have to hand over your wife. <laughs> well, there's... <clears throat> there's something else. What? Mary. <laughs> Mary? She and I, that is. Um, since I've been in New York and I've been spending such a lot of time there over the last year or so, that... I'm sorry. Hey, Wallace. Are you in love with her? She loves me, Wallace. More than I have ever been loved. Wallace. Wallace. And there's various reports from the time she spent in China alleging that she, uh, learnt the blackest sexual arts working in the brothels of Shanghai. One here says she's a KGB agent, one that she's uh, ah, a Nazi spy with an illegitimate child by von Ribbentrop being brought up in Bournemouth by nuns. Oh. Huh. Well, most of these were passed on to us by the Times. Crackpot! No smoke without fire. No respectable woman would travel to China in the first place. Well, at least they're not printing these rumours. Yes, but it's all over the newspapers in every other damn country in the world. And don't think word of it doesn't get back here. It does. There isn't a dinner party in Mayfair that isn't full of it. He's made us an international bloody laughing stock. Have you spoken to him about these rumours? You won't hear a word against her. He sacked more members of staff on her account than any other. You've got to confront him, Prime Minister. He has to be made to drop her. Confronting kings is a very risky business, Alec. Especially when one barely has a majority in the House of Commons. <laughs> with a friendly hall porter to get the divorce evidence. Oh, cheer up. So soon it feels dangerous. What if the press get hold of the divorce? Well, they wouldn't dare print a thing. I promise you. You mustn't worry. I've got the whole thing under control.
think you're a bit summon. <laughs> With all due respect, sir, I'm not Mary, leave him be. He's enjoying himself. He's got holiday. October the 20th, Ipswich Assizes. Um, thank you. <clears throat> Simpson versus Simpson. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. If a divorce is granted on that date, she'll be free to marry again in six months, which brings us to April exactly three weeks before the coronation. Just enough time for wedding number three. Wedding? Well, he must be mad if he He is think... mad. The boy's bewitched by the damn woman beyond all vestige of reason. Thinks now he's king, he can do what he bloody well likes. Now, calm down, Alec. He must know that there are strict rules about who he can or cannot marry. But there aren't. Legally, he can marry who the hell he likes. As long as she's not a Catholic, which she isn't, I've checked. An American, a commoner, and, in the eyes of the church, a bigamist, but not a Catholic. He wouldn't dare marry her. Would he? So singing. Some kind of love song, I think. It's all for you, you know. We've had some king or others in love with you. <sighs> but if they know halfway around the world, I wonder who else knows. I don't care. I want the whole world to know soon, anyway. <laughs> Just because something hasn't been done before, it doesn't mean it's impossible. I've never been so happy in all my life as I am right now. Welcome home, madam. Did you have a good holiday? Uh, very good, thank you, Kane. Uh, I see Mr. Simpson has been packing. Yes, he's staying at his club. Thank you. <laughs> 